how are you and welcome to another episode of the Borussia Dortmund Let's Play with me, John, aka Old Man Suda. And um, after the disastrous 4-0 defeat to Hoffenheim, we haven't played any games, nothing's happened, so there's no point showing you any news. Um, but yeah, obviously the last episode, absolute disaster, tactical mistake, or whether we just didn't turn up, I don't know, but it was a 4-0 drumming. Uh, Hoffenheim just outplayed us completely. But today's a new day, it's a new episode, and it's Champions League. We're playing Juventus. Uh, we had a brilliant win uh, on the home leg against these, 2-1. Obviously got this um, away leg with them now. If we win this, or if we draw, we are uh, confirmed we'll be uh, through to the next round, which is awesome. But obviously it's going to be Juventus at home, so it's going to be difficult. But really, obviously, we, we do want to try and get a win here. Obviously, depending on what happens with Feyenoid and Basel as well. If, if Basel beat Feyenoid, then we would, uh, st I think we'd still go through that way as well. So, lots to play for. Obviously, we'd like to top the group if possible. So, we'll get into it. And this is the team we've got. We've got uh, Berkey is going to come up in goal for us. Um, he's going to play as a sweeper keeper. Um, we've got Ger Guerrero. Um, on the left, Topak and uh, Socrates even, and then Pizak in defence. Uh, Sahin and Castro are playing in the midfield with uh, Goza Yamalo. Yama, I can't speak today. Yamalo Lenko, Yamalenko, Sherla out wide, and Abamyang is going to be up front. Who surprisingly, if you heard the news today. Uh, because I'm in middle of November, he's uh, been suspended by Borussia Dortmund. Um, or some reports along that lines, he's not playing for them at the moment, which is quite surprising, because he's such an influential goal scorer. But I don't know the ins and outs of all that. And as you can see, he's scored 14 goals for us. You can see he's just an absolute talent. Um, that's about it, really. Like I said, there's nothing else really to talk about. Um, I will just quickly show you, there's nothing that happened. Got a couple of players still injured. Uh, Marco Roos is obviously injured. Alexander Isaacs just came back from injury. Um, but apart from that, everything else is looking pretty good for us. So we'll get straight into the game. And hopefully, like I say, if we can get a result here, then I think we could be up to something really good. Uh, so we'll do that. That can go on auto. We will do the team talk. We're going to say passionately. We only need a point to qualify for now. Go out there and impress me. Uh, which seems to have done reasonably well. But we'll give them the old usual passionate t talk to each area. And hopefully we can get something out of this. Uh, yeah, that's that. So we'll see how we get on. Uh, both teams could give the bigger team. Anything we'd miss on with that caliber. It's just the usual rubbish. And we'll get into the game. Obviously, it'd be great to qualify because then, obviously, it's something we haven't got to worry about. And uh, the minimum requirement for Champions League was to qualify from the group stages. I mean, they've, they've got a couple of players injured um, slightly, so that's good for us. But yeah, that's the minimum requirement. But obviously, I'd like to get as far as possible um, as we can. It's Douglas Costa puts it in, but we managed to get it out. And Bamyan comes forward, and we could maybe break it. Yamalenko's going to have got the ball. He tries to take it out wide. Can he get a Bam Young in? He can. A Bam Young is in. We've got a chance here. He takes a shot and it's only just wide. That was so close. That was so close. But great, great bit of play by us. 20 minutes gone, nil nil. Um, what, what is this? It's, it's obviously two great sides. Juventus, one of the best teams in the world. And we're holding them at the moment. 30 minutes gone. And you've got to say, it's been a really close game from the looks of it. As Juventus have a free kick, he puts it out to Costa. Costa now is brilliant driving it forward, but a brilliant tackle by us. And they try to get it back in. We've got to be so careful here, but we can break again as Aubameyang comes forward. He gives it to Yamalenko. Yamalenko, can he get out wide? He gets past one player. Can he get out? He doesn't do anything with it, though. There were so many players making a run, but he couldn't get the pass. And Juventus are going to come forward now, but they knock it back to Buffon. 34 minutes gone. What's this highlight going to show? They're just playing it around the back at the moment, trying to create some space from the looks of it. Douglas Costa now with it. He comes down the line, but Pirinex with him all the way. He gets a bit ahead. He gets it in, and it's 
1 0 to Juventus. It's not what we wanted. Gonzalo Higuera. Higuera. I, I, I probably should know how to pronounce his name as well, shouldn't I? But a great cross by Douglas Costa and a good header. 1 0 to Juventus. And it's not what we really wanted. Can we get back into it? As we pump it up forward. The Bamiang is going to get maybe it. No, it doesn't. But Scherler has got it now. And can we bring it forward at all? Go to Castro. We're knocking it around beautifully. Come on. Goza. The Bamiang now gets cut out. Oh, come on. And they're going to try and bring it forward again. Can we? No. Oh, that's just Topak. What are you doing? As they try to get across it. And Topak collects it. He tries to knock it forward. He gets it up to Scherler. Scherler now with the ball. Brings it inside. But he gets tackled. And they are coming forward again. But another great inception by Tarek. And yeah, has got the ball. Can he get a shot? And he can't. He gets tackled. yamiranko has got the ball now. He puts a cross in. And I don't know if that was a shot or a save. It looks like it was a save. As we have a corner. Can we get something back just before half time? Castro with the corner in. And we try to get it. But that's the end of the highlight. As Pisek picks up a yellow card. I mean, it's been a bit of an end-to-end -end stuff, if you ask me. It's been close. We haven't been doing too bad, but hello, Topak's lost more position than any other player. Topak's won back position more than any player. <laughs> uh, one nil down at half time. It's not been going too bad, but I think we can say assertively we've been the better team. Just keep going at the comment. Unlucky boys. What should I say? I'll say unlucky boys. You just haven't got it right for us at the moment, which seems to have gone down really well. We'll hand it over to the assistant as well. See if he's got anything to say. Um, uh, Shirley's not playing well. Abayang is not playing particularly well. As I'm doing, there's quite a few players not playing particularly well. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to change the tactics. We're only playing on a counter at the moment. I'm going to go to a control and just see if by maybe. Being a bit more attacking, we can get something out of this, uh, which could cost us dearly. But we've got to try something, haven't we? As Socrates collects the ball there, and it's the end of the highlight. And with five minutes gone, second half, not much is happening. We're looking good right now. We can't find shots, and we're not keeping the ball. Well, we're looking poor right now, even. Right, we're going to make a change. Oh, there's a highlight. No, there isn't. Um, what can we do that's going to change things? Shirley's not playing particularly well, so we're going to bring Pulsic on for him. Um, and we're also going to bring Kyle Gower on for Sahin and just pry a bit more attacking up front. And I think that's all we can really do at the moment, so we'll, that's all we're going to do. As... 20 minutes left and you've got to say it's not looking particularly good we're gonna make one more change we're gonna change go and Gazara around Cavals and goes it's gonna come off and we are gonna bring on Dalud and just hopefully come on just get one goal one goal that's all we want as we have a, a corner Castro puts it in but unfortunately it doesn't go anywhere Abamyang's got it now he, can he get it forward? He gets it out to Yamalenko. Yamalenko gets it to Dalu. Dalu to Abamyang. Abamyang knocks it out wide. Pesek. Pesek puts it out to Castro. Castro to Dalu. We'll knock it around. Lovely. Socrates now with the ball. Yamalenko gets it to Abamyang. Abamyang, get in there. One all. Get in there, my son. Moves us back up to first position. Ten minutes left to go. We'll change it back down to a standard. We want to just see if we can maybe... Just see out the last 10 minutes. A Bamyang with the ball. Fantastic. One all. And that should hopefully secure us promotion. Or, or at least get through to the next round. As long as we can see out the last five minutes. Uh, we put it out here. Carlton's getting it. A Bamyang's now got it. Could we even get a winner? Yamalenko's got the ball. He puts it in. Ah, oh, I thought that might go somewhere then. Buffon's got it. He knocks it out to... God, no, 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 don't score. Don't let him score. Don't let him score. Delude now with the ball. No! No! Really? 
I guess go back to an attack in. Uh, they get the cross in, and we thought we were going to lose it, but then it drops to them. Uh, and it's that. Uh, I can't believe that. I mean, it's been a fantastic match at the moment. Can we maybe get something in the last seconds? Unfortunately, not. And it looks like this is pretty much going to be the end of it here. As it's full time, we lose 2 1, which is an absolute shame, but it's been a cracking game. Uh, I can't fault the team, I don't think. I'm going to have to say passionately. Put the result aside, that was a pleasing performance. Everyone looks happy. I mean, they gave it everything against a great Juventus side. But it's a bit of a shame that we lost it at the end there. And we failed to late defeat. What does that do? There we go. We do knock we do qualify though from knockout stage, which is absolutely fantastic. Dortmund enjoying life under Suda as well. We'll just have a look at the quickly at the competition. Uh, where is it? There it is. And Finoid must have drew then. Can we see the results anywhere? Yeah, Finoid drew against Basel. So that's why we've gone through. Obviously, now Juventus are two points clear. It looks like we're going to probably come through second, which is a bit of a shame because it means we could play the likes of Chelsea, Tottenham. I mean, that's a close group. Barcelona, Liverpool, Monaco. I mean, Liverpool and Barcelona are actually free, which is quite surprising. I mean, looking at that group, that would be a nasty group to have been in. I mean, Man City buying, ooh, as well. Um, Man U and Celtic might be free, but it's between Celtic and Schalke there. Roma have done terrible there. Uh, PSG and Real Madrid and Moscow all playing out for that top spot as well. So there's some really interesting Champions League spots. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the episode. end of the episode. We are going to come back. And when are we going to come back? We are going to come back for... I've got to come back for the Bayern game, really. It's, it's not long, but I've got to come back for it because it's Bayern Munich, and it's obviously a really important game for us. So I'll come back for the Bayern Munich game. Uh, after that, we'll probably play a little bit and come back for around like the Leverkusen game or something like that and give it a bit of time. Um, we will come up to December, which is really good. So we'll have the transfer as well. So I might even have to come back a little bit. I'll come back for the buying game. And um, yeah, the buying game. We might play the Stuttgart game as well. And then we'll see. I, I think Germany have the uh, winter break as well, it looks like. So it goes from the tw 20th there to the 1st. So um, we're going to have a little bit of a period break soon anyway. So we'll come back for the buy and maybe the Stuttgart game, depending on how highlights go. Please come and drop a like. Please come and subscribe. Please come and follow me on Twitter. It'll be absolutely great to hear some comments from you guys as well. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye for now.